हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू सिविल इंजीनियरिंग यूट्यूब चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब और चैनल फॉर डेली सिविल इंजीनियरिंग वीडियोस इन टुडे लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द सिंगल रीनफोर्स बीम एंड द डबल रीनफोर्स बीम सो व्हाट इज द मेन डिफरेंस बिटवीन दीस टू टाइप्स ऑफ द बीम इन आवर सिविल इंजीनियरिंग स्ट्रक्चर्स वी नो दैट बीम इज अ हॉरिजॉन्टल मेंबर दैट इज यूज्ड टू रेजिस्ट द बेंडिंग और फ्रिक्शन स्ट्रेसेस नाउ how we can differentiate between these type two types of the beam so the single reinforced beam is a type of beam where the main reinforcement is provided only in the tension zone so that's why it's called a singly because the main reinforcement is provided the main tensile reinforcement or the main reinforcement is provided only in in one zone or in one zone and this is mostly a tension zone so we call it single reinforced beam here we can see that the reinforcement i can if i consider this is a beam so we see here that the main four bars are provided in the tension zone for example if there is any load acting on the beam so we have bending so we and the top we have compression in the bottom we have tension but we know that concrete is weak in tension that's why we provide the reinforcement bar here so we can see here that the four number of bar, four bars are provided here in the bottom zone in the tension zone in order to increase the tensile capacity of the beam section so these are known as the tensile reinforcement and here they are acting as a tension reinforcement to increase the tensile capacity of the beam but here these two bars why i have two bars at the top the two bars are only provided to to in case the stirrups or the transverse reinforcement because we will have such kind of reinforcement in our beam here like in this way stirrups so to hold the stirrups so what we have we always have this two compression reinforcement bar so two main bar at the compression two bars are must to be provided in the compression this is not for any kind of tensile stresses or any kind of tension to take but they are only provided to in case the stirrups are the transverse reinforcement so when the main reinforcement is provided to resist the tensile reinforcement in only a single zone and one zone then we call it is a single reinforced beam but when the main reinforcement is provided in both the zone so i can define is when the main reinforcement when the steel reinforcement or the main reinforcement is provided is provided in two zones not only in one then we call it is a double reinforced beam because now in it is you can you can even see from its name it's called double because it is double reinforced section so you always have a reinforcement in the top zone and also you have reinforcement in the tension zone and what is the main reason of providing the reinforcement in both the zone because sometimes because when the load is acting on the beam sometimes the depth of the beam if this is the d depth of the beam so the depth of the beam is very small and there are high stresses acting and high compressive stresses acting at the top section of the beam where the where concrete is weak and cannot take the compressive stresses so what we have to do we will also provide a reinforcement in the top zone so this reinforcement is clear that they are provided for tension reinforcement because we have here tensile stresses so these are for tensile stresses but here we also have some reinforcement in compression zone in order to increase the compressive capacity of the concrete so in this case we will call that the beam is known as a double reinforced beam because it is reinforced in both the zone in the compression zone this is a compression zone we discussed before this is a compression zone where the compressive stresses are acting and this is a tension zone where the tensile stresses are acting so for tension there is no problem because we always have reinforcement in the tension zone because concrete cannot take any tension or tensile stresses 
but here the concrete is weakened even in compression so here because of the lower depth and for this reason we have to provide the reinforcement in the compression in order to increase the compression capacity of the beam section so in this case we will call it the double reinforced beam so very simple difference in single reinforced beam the main reinforcement is provided only in one zone mainly in tension zone so it's called as a single reinforced beam and when the reinforcement is provided in both the zone tension and compression we call it, it is a, a double reinforced beam and why because in order to increase the compressor stress capacity at the top we have to provide the reinforcement in the top zone so hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily zone engineering videos thank you for watching our video